So in an outbound message, the first sentence is arguably the most important one. It's what makes or breaks your entire message. And there's a reason why this message or this sentence is more important than other sentences. And that is simply because it acts as a preview sentence. It's sort of a trailer for your email. So if I open like Gmail here and look at my spam emails, you can see the preview text. So when someone opens this, you can see sort of like here, right? Hey, Oscar, we are a team of data geeks who created something similar to retention.com. I hope you're having a great day, blah, blah, blah. And when this sentence here, when the preview sentence is shit, when this screams follow-up email or cold email, then I'm not going to open it. This sentence here should, if someone reads it, it should force them to open the email essentially. And there's a way going about this and a technique I have for writing the first sentence that I always implement. So it's all about building curiosity and you need to make your email sound like an email that they are expecting to receive. As an example here, if your preview sentence say this is your email right here, then we take like, hey, Oscar, I created a two minute video on how you can improve your website. Now, what I'm going to see here in the preview text is this entire part here, maybe up until here. Right? I created a two minute video on how you can improve your website. When I read this, I'm going to instantly categorize it as a spam or a cold email. So I'm probably not going to open it, but I always open cold emails because it's what I do and I'm interested in it. So, but I'm saying in your case, if for your prospects, they aren't going to open this email because it screams spam email. But if you instead had this in your title, for example, just here you go, it's the two min video on your website and improvements. Now instantly, this seems like an email that you would actually expect. Even if I haven't changed anything like on the website or if we're not working on it, it's sort of like, here you go, it's a two minute, it sounds, I should be expecting this email and therefore I would be more likely to open it. And let's take another example. Let's take um, like this here. Hey Oscar, we're a team of data geeks who created something similar to retention.com. Retention.com, that is the sales argument or that is what this email is built on. That is what I know in this email. Start with it, right? Why have this entire like thing here, data geeks, blah, 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 and then get to retention. Start with retention. So then it would be like retention Retention.com is uh, a company you've heard of, for example, and then get into it. We created a blah, blah, blah. Start with what they know. And in some cases, like even in the follow-up emails, this is why my follow-up email, see if I can actually insert this GIF here. Uh, give me a second here. Let's go to, from my computer here. Perfect. So this is an email copy that you might have seen, and I'm actually the proud father, father of this follow-up email. But this is why this sentence works so, this email works so well, because it just says, hey, Oscar, someone leaked a video of our conversation. Check it out, right? And then it's this, and then underneath it's just like jokes aside, blah, blah, blah. But people open this and this email got an insane reply rate and a lot of people have copied this follow-up template. And the reason it works so well is because this first sentence here, it evokes curiosity. When people read it, they don't expect to receive a follow-up email. But if I would have just had like, hey Oscar, just wanted to touch base or circling back or just wanted to follow up, just wanted to bump this up, I'm instantly categorizing it as his follow-up email. And nobody wants to receive follow-up emails and no one would voluntarily open a follow-up email. So if it looks like a follow-up email, if it looks like a cold email, then people aren't going to open it. Because what you're, selling, you're sending is basically ads, you can say. And if you start your email with like, here's a TV ad, or here is an ad or whatever. No one is going to fucking open it because people hate it. So the first sentence to summarize this sort of, make it sound like it's an email that they are expecting. Like, here you go. It's the two minute video on, like it's the video. It's the, not I created. And that's essentially it. Focus on your first sentence and you will get a lot more opens. And if you get more opens, you likely get more response. Uh, anyways, that's it for me. Cheers.